What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome to episode 5 of Space Engineers Apocalypse. Today we're going to see if I die or if I survive. And I like to start every episode with that. I'm like, will I die this episode? Nobody knows, but we will get a little bit of lag at the very least. So uh, last episode I kind of built this a little bit. Well, kind of towards the end of last episode and a little bit off camera right after I, I ended the episode. Uh, I did finish building that a little bit just by putting down a couple of things. That looks really scary. That's a lot of meteors going in that one little area. Um, so I did finish putting this down though, um, because I want I, I kind of want a way to get up to the top. So I think that would be a very helpful thing, and maybe we could use it uh, for I don't know what we would use it for, but like it, it it's here, so why not? Um, but at least we can get up to our turret, which could shoot us by accident, or we could like fly around or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but regardless, we'll have a way to the top, which will be nice to have. Somehow. Maybe we could just look at meteors to see where they are. So it says meteor incoming. We could come up to the top and say, where are they? And then, yeah, that sort of thing. But uh, I think this episode, what we're going to do is we want to try and get some magnesium just so that we can create uh, a little bit of, uh, of ammunition for our, for our stuff up there. But we need to make a couple of modifications for our ship. The main one is we need to add some way of our ship depositing materials such as ice because we don't want ice in our ship but our ice our, our, but our ship is grabbing ice nonetheless so first we're going to start off with grabbing the correct materials to build this stuff i think would be a good one to start with uh let's make sure that iron is our priority for this so refinery uh we're going to say iron oh it's already okay it's already gotten all the iron i guess which wait what has it refinery um nope i guess it's just full Okay, here's what we're going to do then. We're going to hop into here. We're going to go to a cargo container. Uh, cargo. No, cargo. Uh, we're going to go to one that's empty, and we're going to throw all of our materials in there because it can it can hold more. We don't want the nickel in there as well. So what we want to stick in here, and it's probably going to start grabbing stuff any second. Nope, we don't want the nickel to go in there. We want the iron. There we go. Grab the iron. Stick all the nickel that we want in here. Uh, but iron is going to be our main priority. Uh, let's double check these. Make sure. Try and grab all the iron that you can. Stick this one back in here. Grab more iron. There we go. So as long as it's as long as it has iron as its priority, I think we're going to be good. Uh, let's also take our ice and throw that into another cargo container that looks empty. This one can have some stuff. And the same with this ice as well, uh, because we don't want it on board our ship. That would not be a good thing. Uh, you can go in there, and you can go in there. I think what we're going to need to do is start looking towards making uh, large cargo containers. For you, production, stop making that. That's fine. Start making a couple of interior, not ten. But, uh, well, tends to start, but start making a couple of those and then make a couple more of these as well. Uh, we should have enough iron for a little bit of, for at least a little bit of stuff, so that would be good. Uh, let's grab a couple of, oops, go to our right inventory. Grab a couple of these things. We're going to need some large, actually, we don't want this. Let's throw this back. Well, we'll throw this in one of these and it'll be grabbed by the, uh, by the refinery. Actually, let's just put it directly in the refinery since it, it goes super fast. Uh, refinery. We'll just stick this as the priority, and yeah, see, it goes super fast. Um, okay, we want some, nope, we want some uh, light, light steel tubes or whatever these are. Actually, we don't need those, do we? Yeah, we don't need those. We just need motors. There we go, and let's grab a couple of motors. Deposit a couple of those. Grab a couple of those. Motot, motor. As many motors as we can. Okay, that should be fine. Uh, we got these ones coming in hot. A couple of them came in hot earlier, uh, but I don't think any of them hit us because I didn't hear any boom. So that's good. Uh, stick this right there as our main one. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a... Uh, next, we're going to have a sorter. So we're going to look for a sorter. We're looking for the small one, so small sorter. And then we're going to have an ejector. This is what I do for every mining ship so, so they can eject all of the uh, the stuff that we don't want. It's very, very necessary to have on a, on a mining ship. So if you don't have that, um, you should probably have that. <laughs> okay, uh, we're actually going to move this because that's a good location, but I think this might be a better location. So what we're going to start with then is we're going to start with the sorter so we can only have one because that's annoying to have more than one. Let's put this up the right way. There we go. So it's going to sort materials down like that. We need computers and small steel tubes. You can grab those. Five of each, I think. Uh, so computers... Are right here and small steel tubes are right here so we're gonna have this one it's gonna take a long time we're in for a ride guys we're in for a for a bit of a wait here <laughs> that sounds close oh that's that's potentially dangerous Andrew runs for cover ah <laughs> oh my god 
I saw him coming in hot. Okay, it doesn't look like any more are going to hit us. I saw him coming in hot, and I was like, oh, that's one of those is going to hit me. Because look, look at the angle they can have. That's the thing about meteors is it all depends on what angle they're fired at. Like, one could snipe me right through here if it wanted to. Uh, but it's very rare that they have that sort of angle. So, that's good. But yeah, one conveyor sorter to a, uh, a corner piece of conveyor will work just fine. So there we go. Awesome. Next, we're going to add in that corner piece of conveyor that we had earlier. So this one right here. This one is, is also going to take quite a bit of time to get. You know what? One of our other goals, I was going to mine for magnesium as the main thing, and I think I, we'll still do that. But one of our other goals should be probably to try and grab some materials for another welder, which is going to require, if we can get silver, that'd be amazing. So I'll fly around to a couple of those holes. And see if um, see if we can grab some stuff because you know meteors never hit the same place twice, right? That's a that's a rule, not really. They can totally hit the same place twice, and thinking they won't is asking for trouble. Those ones, for instance, are about to hit the same place, being my base twice. See, they've they've also got another uh, kind of terrifying angle. All right, we're gonna have three of these things. One, two, oops, one, two, three, just like that. Uh, and then what do these require? Looks like we're going to need some more computers, small steel tubes, and construction components. Give me these. I just grabbed 50 of them. We don't need that many. But we do need small steel tubes and computers. Uh, small steel tubes are right there. And then computers. I don't know if we have enough. Computer. I don't... S compu... Yeah, there we go. Oh, we, okay. We have enough. Yeah, we gave, gave ourselves a lot of computers to start off with. So I was saying last episode that eventually we'll have another uh, Space Engineers Apocalypse kind of after this one ends and then in the future maybe maybe it'll be another thing that we'll start. Uh, and if it is, I said a lot of settings are going to be changed. That's one of the things as well. Like the way we started in this one was kind of a um, an easy sort of start where we had we already had a, a roof over our heads, we had a floor below our feet, and we had a bunch of materials enough to at least build a couple of things. So it wasn't really a, a terribly hard start. Um, but there are other there there are also a couple of because you you gotta have some sort of start. You can't do it without uh, some sort of start. If you start with nothing, there's just no way to build up a refinery. So you've got to at least have a refinery and an assembler. And once you have those things, you can be good. So technically, I could have I could have started with one block that was unwelded, a refinery, and an assembler. Oh, and power. You need power. So I could have started with that with those things right there, and I would have been totally fine. That would have um, probably been okay course then you run into the problem of if you run 100% uh, out of power then you're kind of screwed unless you have solar panels so yeah that's that's another thing but these should be good let's make sure we're not going to get hit by any meteors and yet yeah, we're not we're good let's hop back into our ship and press i so that we can um press k rather so that we can see our stuff so we're gonna go find the sorter small conveyor sorter we want to make sure that this has a whitelist for uh, for stone, because we don't want stone, uh, and ice. So we're going to grab some ice. We're going to add that to the list. And we're going to grab some stone. We're going to add that to the list. So these are the two things that we don't want. Anything else will be fine. Uh, and I think that's going to be okay. And, you know, if we were trying to mine iron and the iron's right next to the nickel, we could also whitelist nickel so we don't grab any of that. But, um, yeah, I think that's going to be fine. All right. Um, so let's really quickly. Here's what we'll do. Let's put everything back make sure we're good on hydrogen uh that 97 percent make sure that's also good we're gonna go out on a quick little expedition to see if we can find some of the materials that are required to uh to make a better make better material make better things so what do we want we want some we're looking for silicon we're looking for cobalt and we're looking for silver but silicon and cobalt are the main ones silicon and cobalt yeah silicon and cobalt are the main ones okay so silicon cobalt silver if we can find them and we're going to go on foot which is really going to be dangerous how we have 16 shots in this which should be fine let's grab our drill which i think is still in one of these things our original drill should we go out with a ship i wonder if we should go out with a ship just for safety because then we don't have to worry about any dogs ah eh, let's do it we'll go out with the ship um Oh, let's add some lights to this thing as well, just so that we can see. Uh, so lights, we're going to have to go here. Uh, light. 
This is another important. This, this will be another good thing to go out with a ship as well, just so we can see everything. So we need steel plates, construction components, and interior plates. One of each for every light that we want. So steel plates. That's interior plates. Uh, steel plates and construction components. We have 10 of each, which means we can support up to 10 lights. A little bit of lag. Oh, there's a little bit of lag there in that game. Oh my god, that's a lot of meteors falling down. That's a lot. Look at that. Alright, so can we put them on the bottom right here? But well, they're going to kind of go through that. But yeah, let's put two on the bottom. Kind of like that. We're going to put two kind of on the top as well. Unfortunately, we can't put them there. But right there would be a nice place. Or even up there. Let's put them right here. So one, two, three, four. Uh, we'll have... I do also want to have some bottom lights. So maybe tilt these ones up. Like that and like that. And we'll do the same thing over here. Was it on the outside or the inside? It was on the inside. I think we're going to get hit by one of those. Those sound really close. So here's one light. We've got, what, eight lights, right? So eight times this long wait of chilling here and building lights. Oh, oh, yippee. Two. Three, I saw those meteors. I thought they were coming towards me again. This is why we need a better welder. Those sound real close. Uh, they're not really coming. They're coming towards us, but they're not really coming at us. So I think we should be fine. And you know, when I when I finally die in this series, you know it's going to be one of those moments where I'm like, oh, we're, we're in no danger. And then I'm going to get sniped like immediately by one of those random things. I hear them all around me. It's terrifying. Like, will I even get hurt if it falls... Whoa, did we get hit? Oh, no, that's just the light. Will I even get hurt if it falls near me, or will I just die? I don't know. Is there is there, like, a, a damage, or do you just die if you get sniped by a meteor? I've never been hit by a meteor before, so I don't know. Last one. Part of me wants to go out during daytime, but I don't know. All right, you guys ready for this expedition? Let's make sure we have nothing on board. We have cockpit materials, unfortunately, uh, which we cannot get rid of. So we're going to have to throw those in our inventory and get rid of them one by one, which is going to suck, but whatever. Actually, we'll just throw them in here. And we don't need our drill if we're not going to actually be mining. So cockpit materials. Actually, the cockpit should now be connected to the connector. Which should then be connected to our cargo. So, like this one right here. Meteor yeah, storm. okay, so we should be good now. Uh, let's press P so that we... Okay! <laughs> I forgot to press number 9. I realized my mistake immediately, by the way. That that, that was going to happen. But, you know, that's why we have those uh, those things right there. Those, those wheels. Uh, let's hop into I real quick. Because one thing I forgot to do is I forgot to go to our ejectors. And turn those babies on. We'll put them in a group. Eject. We'll call it eject. Why not? Because we're lazy. And we'll hop all the way down, collect all, throw out. So they're only going to collect things once it's past the um, the sorter, pretty much. All right, you guys ready? Are you ready for our expedition? I think we're good. Let's go. All right, we're going to go down to the holes that are next to the the, uh, the lake over there. Now, what we're looking for, and I really should have brought my drill, shouldn't I have? I guess we'll go into each individual hole and just grab stuff, shouldn't we? That might not be a bad idea. Like this right here. This looks like this could be silver. This could be uh, platinum. I don't really know which one it would be, but let's let's go ahead and grab. Whether it's silver, whether it's platinum, either one of those is going to be amazing. So we'll grab this as well. Do those meteors sound close to you guys. B. Look around real quick. Meteors. I think we're good. Let's see what we have. Uh, we got a little bit of AG, which is silver. That's really good. So I guess that was silver. And we got a little bit of cobalt as well. So if we keep going from, from meteor to meteor, and a couple of you guys were saying this in comments as well. Uh, if we keep doing this, we should have enough materials for for what we want to do. I keep... Where are you guys? <gasps> oh my god. I think we're good. go down and grab this. This looks like a little bit more uh, uh, cobalt or something. Meteor storm inbound. 
So it's very dangerous out here, apparently. Let's go to the next one over. I've still... I, every time she says meteor thing, I've got to check because those last ones came in real real hot. I was going to say real hot and real close at the same time. You get real clot. Okay, those aren't going to hit me. We're good on those. Um, all right. Next meteor. Beep, beep, beep. Uranium would also be a nice find, I think. I would not mind that. Doesn't look like we have anything in that one. But this one is looking like some iron. Uh, some uranium down there, maybe? Now, our ore detectors don't really work for these because they, they either there's not enough or they haven't been here very, very long. For some reason, ore detectors don't like to work on meteor strikes, meteor holes. I think we're good out here. Whoa, we hit something. Or we got hit. No, yeah, we hit something. Boop. Let's double check, make sure we're, we're still good. We are still good. I'm glad we weren't over there yet. That would have been fun. Our ship's getting a little bit heavy. It, does it have a lot of ice in it? I think that might be the reason. Yeah, it's got a lot of ice. Uh, the cockpit especially. I don't know why the ice is not being dragged out of the cockpit. It really should. But uh, let's go ahead and just stick it inside. I guess it's not because it's... Okay, yeah, that's that's fine. Okay, the ice is slowly being brought out. So that's that's uh, that's why we're heavy currently. And it should get, be getting lighter over time. Let's go and grab that. That could be platinum. That could be uh, uranium. Don't know what it is. Looks like something's broken as well. I don't really know what it is, but I see a little. I see some uh, some smoke coming up. Those meteors could. Well, we have this nice hill to block us, so that's not that bad. Let's pop in, pop into here, grab some of this stuff. Don't know what that is. That that looks like it might be plat, because plat's kind of a dark color, I think. Uh, nope, that looks like it might be meteors uranium instead of plat. But let's back out. There's some more, actually. Let's grab some of that. Let's get some of that plat. Some of that uranium, rather. If we get plat, that would be that would be amazing. We should be able to get to level 3 tools, like, immediately. Um, with Since we got silver already. Silver was our main thing um, that we needed. Either more uranium or plat or something. Alright, that's pretty good. Uh, same thing. Same, same thing over there. We'll grab it. Why not? I mean, if it's uranium, it's it's not bad. That's that's really good, actually, because we, we do need it. So I'm, I won't complain either way. Oh, 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 shoot. Oh, 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 flip it, flip it, flip it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was real close. That would be bad if we just managed to flip our flip our stuff. What just fell off? Meteor storm what is... Inbound. What the heck? What is falling? Okay, that meteor came real close. What is falling off of our ship? Like, what the heck just happened? Uh, I'm looking. I'm looking for the, the cause of that, but I don't see anything that's actually damaged. I guess there was something... Oh, maybe our ore detect... No, our ore detector's fine. So I don't know what got damaged there. Let's uh, let's let's back up real quick and we'll land. Uh, just so we can check it out. Meteor storm inbound. Okay, land real quick. Check for meteors. Make sure they're not coming in on us. Uh, I think we're fine. No, okay. Where did you guys come from? Can I grab you? Yeah, I can. Um, is everything good? Yep. As long as the cargo containers are good, these things are good. Yeah, I think we're fine. I don't know what that was meteors that caused that to happen, down. but, um, should we head back or should we go for a couple more meteors? I think we should probably go for a couple more meteors. Let's go towards this way a little bit because we're a bit safer, uh, the closer we are to that mountain. And we'll let our, uh, our things keep depositing the ice. We got some gold in there. Should we grab some gold? We don't really need it quite yet, do we? I'm looking for, like, platinum. Platinum would be my main... That'd be a really good thing to find right now. But, you know, platinum is kind of rare as well. What is that? Oh, that's a dog. I'm like, what is that wagging its tail in there? <laughs> Alright, under us, it looks like we got some either uranium or platinum or something. We'll go ahead and grab it since we have the space, definitely. But we gotta be more careful because that, that other time we almost um, we almost flipped over. That, In case you guys were wondering, that's why I was saying, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Because we were pretty much past the point of no return. And somehow we got it back. So, I don't know. Alright, there's a, there's a good rock right there. 
a good thing. Uh, that's... I, I guess we'll get some gold. I think that's gold. Could be nickel. Could be nickel. And this looks like it could be silver. Are we in danger? Oh my god, we were slightly in danger. Oh my god. <laughs> we almost died there. We almost got sniped out of the sky. That was crazy. Wow. Okay, last meteor. This one right here. We'll just, we'll just grab what's in here and we'll go. And then we'll once we're back at base, we'll, we'll take inventory. We'll see what we got. Uh, let's grab the gold as well. Since we're here. All right, I think we're good. We're good on materials. Let's head back. I got some meteors coming in. Uh, let's not get in the way of those because, um, well, I think we're probably fine. Wouldn't that be horrible if I saw my base completely demolished, like from out here? It'd be so sad. Okay, once we get in there, we'll see what we got. Uh, I, I, I don't know what we got. I don't know if we got any plat. I, I wasn't really paying Meteor much attention uh, to what it was, but we'll see. Okay, real quick, see where the meteor is. We don't see it. Okay, let's press I. Let's take a look. We got some, a lot of ice, yeah. Uh, we got some uranium. We got some cobalt. We got some, uh, some, some silver over there. We got some nickel. We did get some platinum, so that's a really good find then. That's a really good thing to have. Uh, now, we're going to have a lot of random little ice chunks on our base, but that's not really a bad thing, I guess. I, maybe it is. But I don't really know how it could be. Uh, let's do that. Press number nine. And we should start seeing this stuff get smelted. So let's go to our refinery. We'll make sure. Refinery. Now, the nickel, once again, I don't really care about the nickel. Let's look at cargo. Cargo containers. We're going to stick the, uh, the nickel into here, if we can store it there. We're going to stick the platinum first, because we're going to grab a little bit of platinum. Uh, nickel, we don't care about you either. Cobalt, we do care about you. Silver, we care about you. Uranium, but not the nickel. Sorry, nickel. We don't really... Yeah, nickel can be at the end. That's that's totally fine. All right. Are we still dropping these? Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> that's funny. We're just going to keep dropping those. Okay, I think what we're going to do then is we're going to see how much of this stuff... Okay, how much do we need for... Let's, let's produce it. Let's put it in production tools. We're going to go immediately for level three because that's the one that we really need. So level three, level three, and level three. And theoretically, we'll only need ever one set of tools because obvious reasons. If we die, we're done. Um, but platinum, we need two platinum, two platinum, and two platinum. So in total, we need four platinum. We are having Armageddon all around us. What is happening? That's happening. Look at the ground around us. Jeez. It's just demolished. That was a meteor strike that was almost right on us. Okay, so platinum production. That's not what we want to look at. We want to look at refinery. Uh, so the platinum, we have less... Oh, is it being used? I guess the refinery is taking it. So let's look at PT. No. Plat, then. Uh, platinum. We have 0 0.1 platinum right now. Meteor storm inbound. And we need six. We need six platinum. I don't know if we're going to have enough. We might. Um, okay, so here's what we're going to do then in the meantime. Because the platinum might take forever. We're going to stop these tools. We're going to go for level 3 tools. So, or level 2 tools, rather. So it requires silver. It requires silicon. At least for these ones, it only requires... This one only requires cobalt. So let's, let's set this one. Then we'll set this one. Then we'll set this one, because this one requires the most. So we need silicon, cobalt, and then silver. So we need cobalt and silver is going to be the first one then. So let's hop into here. We'll go to the refinery. Uh, we're going to set silver and cobalt as the primary things to make. And it looks like silver is going to go kind of fast. So uh, that's definitely good. And then cobalt hopefully should go fast as well. Uh, let's look at production real quick to see. Once we've got two, we'll switch production. How about that? And we're almost there. 1.85, two. Okay, so there's two. Uh, we're gonna switch production to cobalt so that you can start making what we need there. Uh, and I don't know how much cobalt we need for this thing. Oh, I get. Okay, that's that's actually really good. It already has enough. We don't really need the proficient hand drill, do we? Because we don't plan on doing much hand drilling. So let's 
Let's not even worry about the materials for that. Wait, how much? Do, what do you need? You don't need silver. You don't need silver, and you don't need silver. So yeah, it's fine that we're making this right here, because none of the top tier ones actually need silver at all anyway. So that's that's also fine. Um, production. It's almost done. You need uh, cobalt, which we might have enough of, and then silicon. So refinery. Cobalt we have enough of, uh, and then silicon, which we don't have any silicon. Do we have... Yeah, we don't have any silicon, so that's unfortunate. We can't make that uh, the grinder. But at least we have this one, which will should grind things or should should weld things much faster. Stick this in there so it can be grabbed. Um, okay, and stick this in there. We don't need it anymore. Let me find the uh, level one tool, a level two tool rather. So yeah, I find that often I uh, when I play this game I skip level two. It's just like you don't you don't really need it, do you? <laughs> so let's weld this all the way down and see how fast it goes when we try to fix it up. Okay, yeah, it's much, much faster. Okay, that's definitely good because that'll make it so that we can actually actually weld things without having to wait uh, ages, right? Uh, finally, I guess, do we have any magnesium in here? MG. We do not have any magnesium. So magnesium and silicon are the main things that we need from this point forward. I'm going to let the refinery do its thing. Got a lot of cobalt still. We should be fine on cobalt for now. Let's let's get the platinum running because the platinum might take forever. Uh, so we, hopefully we can get some level three tools today as well. Uh, finally, let's let's go out on a mining expedition. Real quick though, check to make sure everything is out of this. So cockpit has some stuff still. Uh, we need cargo containers. From probably these ones right here. Stick that in there. Meteor storm inbound. All right, I guess you are fine then. All right, let's press number nine, press P so we can go out. And we're gonna go look for uh, magnesium and, what's the other one? Magnesium and um, silicon are the ones that we want. All right, well, here we go. Hopefully we don't get sniped again. Uh, and we it looks like we actually head out at a kind of a bad time. We almost got sniped there. But we're gonna go straight for the second, uh, the second thing. Meteors oh, hey, look, inbound. there's a thing. Do I have those turned off or something? Make sure signals are turned on. I guess I didn't see that one, but I, I mean, I saw it out of the corner of my eye there at the last second. So let's uh, let's go and grab that, I guess. Unless it starts shooting at us, then that would be bad. But no, let's let's um, definitely go and grab this. All right. So this looks like this is going to be another a nice nice little. Uh, make sure we don't die from it. A nice little uh, group of this stuff. Which we can definitely take. And also the uranium as well. Uh, did the button get blown up? The button might have gotten blown up. Let's try and knock it over. Oh, no. There's the button. Okay. So the button is what, what activates the spin to win kind of thing. Uh, so, for instance, we just want a new pair of boots. If we want to go and wear those, we'll go back to the base and, and set that up. But for now, let's continue heading off to the thing. To the, the, the stuff. Looking for silicon. And we know there's a group of mining things over here that we can go and check out. And I think what the, the way it was was that we had three materials over there and then three completely different materials over here. Or maybe iron overlapped both of them, but I don't I don't remember exactly. But uh, I do remember that we'll probably find magnesium and silicon over here if, if, we, uh, if we look. Yep, silicon is right there. Magnesium, let's get a little bit lower. We might be able to spot some. Nickel, silicon, nickel. And uh, third one might be over here, maybe? Magnesium. Yep, exactly. So what we're going to do then is we're going to start kind of a tunnel uh, over here. We're going to kind of go down this way. Oh, oh, a little bit. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. And we, we just hit a tree. <laughs> that was dumb. Okay. We're going to go straight down. Not straight down, but like this. We'll pretend we're a meteor. Don't mind me. Just another meteor. That was a sound of something exploding. Oh, we lost our front front drill. I think we can still continue on the expedition just fine. Um, I guess that's what was hurting before, is that front drill. But we don't really even need the front drill. It's, it was just there to kind of balance things out a little bit. Meteor we just have to be a bit more careful when we're mining if we don't have the front drill. So, yeah. But it'll be fine. Okay, looking for magnesium. We got rocks already. Or silicon, rather. Is this silicon on the side? No, I think that might still be a boring uh, rock.
pretty sure this is silicon. All this, all this kind of dark stuff. Okay, that's already a lot of stuff. Let's double check, make sure we have uh, just a little bit. Yeah, we have. So we have 10k stone. That's going to be deposited pretty fast. 7k silicon. I think we can probably go for a little bit more. All right, ship's getting a little bit heavy. Let's double check again. 11k silicon might be good for starters. A lot of stone, which is slowly getting kind of uh, jumped out of the ship. Let's start heading towards the magnesium at this point. Which is about straight. Kind of have to go straight uh, this way. But we're not at any danger from the meteors down here. We're, we're perfectly safe from those guys. Uh, but magnesium will allow us to use weapons, guns, that sort of thing. To shoot down the meteor so we don't have to worry anymore. Alright, here we go. Beautiful magnesium. Beautiful blue uh, magnesium. Very, very easy to see. In fact, I thought we had gotten some from the meteors because I remember seeing blue. I don't really know what else is blue. Cobalt, maybe? I don't know if cobalt's blue. Oh, okay. There we go. We're a bit too heavy at this point. Let's let some of our uh, rock get jumped out so we have 13k stone plus another k of stone we have a lot of magnesium we actually got quite a bit from that yeah we got way a lot from that uh from that trip there so let's let our um thing do some of its work we might actually even have to take some of this out but we still have 10k so that should be it should be fine let's kind of start heading out here we use the right click again i like to do this when i turn around so that i can see where i'm going and that sort of thing here we go. Let's put it in first person while we're here. Uh, ship's getting lighter. 92, 92,000 kilograms is a pretty good weight to sit at. You know what would be the, the most horrifying thing ever is if a meteor just came screaming right through this little gap. Right through this little hole. Alright, here we go. And we are free from the clutches of the hole okay over to our base double check meteors make sure they're not coming towards us because we don't want to die it's weird because they don't like when it, when she says meteors coming the meteors aren't immediately coming towards you i guess they're over that that crest over there but uh, they're not immediately coming towards you they're just kind of like yeah what the heck like where the heck did that come from did the meteors get glitched and like start coming from underground or something? Because that's really weird. But a lot of the time when she says it, you can't look up and see them. It takes a few seconds for them to kind of render in. So that's that's sometimes a bit annoying to deal with. Uh, we're going a bit fast here. I wasn't even paying attention. Let's let ourselves slow down to below 20. And then we can start increasing our speed again. Because we don't want to come in too hot. That's one sure way to not only very close to kill us if we come screaming into our base uh, but also destroy a lot of the things we've worked on in a standard let's play that wouldn't really be a bad thing i mean it, it'd be bad but it wouldn't be uh, like so, so destructive we just kind of come in and fix everything but in this one if you if we break all this stuff like that welder right there took so long to build and so did this miner so that if we break everything it kind of really sucks um okay so we got a couple of things platinum let's let's double check how much platinum we have at this point plat uh platinum we have 0.6 platinum we need two for our first tool so probably next episode we'll be able to make our first tool uh, assuming we still have enough Meteor storm inbound. where's our refinery platinum we have 0.12 yeah we should have enough for at least one tool made of platinum so I think that's going to be fine. Uh, what did we grab? We grabbed magnesium. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll, end, we'll end the episode with um, with checking out the magnesium. So refinery. And we're going to stick magnesium. See, there's nickel again. It's always coming back. Cargo. We're going to stick the nickel into... Well, first we'll stick the magnesium into here. So magnesium, your primary, your secondary. Nickel, get out of here. We don't need you. <laughs> we got too much nickel, guys. I think that's that's our main problem these days is too much nickel. Uh, but magnesium, let's see how much you make. You make a little bit. So let's go ahead and go to our production. We're going to stop producing this. We'll produce it later. It doesn't matter. Uh, then we'll make some of this right here. So we need three magnesium powder for each NATO container. How much magnesium powder do we have then? Uh, refinery. 
We don't even have one magnesium, so we might take a while. Uh, I think what we're going to need to do in the long run, if we survive in the long run, is we're definitely going to need to make a couple of refineries. So this one right here is one. Uh, we're going to have to add speed modules to this one. Then we'll have another one on the on the other side, maybe a couple more over here somewhere. Uh, just because it takes so long to do anything. And we're also going to need to have some sort of like assembler room or something like that. Uh, but can we produce one of these? How much is ammo? Oh, I guess ammo is way cheaper. Let's set it to produce 10. And it might be able to produce one at some point. Uh, because I don't know how much, how much magnesium powder we have. We have 27 magnesium powder? Really? Did we just get hit? I think we might have just got taken a hit. I think we took a hit somewhere. I don't know where it is, though. But I guess we're fine, so it's not really a big deal. Uh, ammo, right. So let's look at this. We've got two. Let's go ahead and grab it. We're going to stick it back into our uh, gun up top and see if it can shoot at some of these meteors that come down. Actually, I want to use our new gate, our new walkway. Walkway! Hooray! We got meteors coming in hot. That might... Please don't hit my gun. Okay. It's hard to, like... Depth perception is hard. <laughs> okay, stick some more of this in there. And, whoa, what are you shooting at, buddy? Just shooting to, to shoot? Is that it? Okay, whatever. Well, I think that's going to be fine. That, that, that's a fine place to end episode number five of uh, Space Engineers Apocalypse. And hopefully we survive... Uh, honestly, I never thought we'd make it to episode five. This is kind of cool. I, I, I want to survive up until episode number 10. I think that would be pretty awesome as well to see pretty much what we can do. And I guess we did take a hit here at some point. But um, surviving to episode 10 would be pretty cool to see kind of how we advance from that point. Because in five episodes of 30 minute videos, we've got two ships running. We've got like all these stuff here. We've got a gun that shoots for the most part. I mean, it kind of does, but it runs out of ammo real fast. So see, look at that. It just stopped that from happening, I guess. But um, Anyways, I guess if you guys like the video, please hit the like button, put your comments and your suggestions down below in the comments section. And uh, we have a Discord. If you guys aren't already a part of that, go ahead and check out the link in the description for the Discord channel. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Space Engineers Apocalypse.